Apple was the first company to surpass the trillion dollar threshold and is today regarded as one of the world's most powerful corporations. Apple has set the standard for creativity and original design in practically all of its products, so it's only natural that its headquarters is unique as well. The corporation invested billions of dollars in creating Steve Jobs' pet project in order to realize his vision. Nowadays, it is known as Apple Park. In this video, I'll take you on a tour to Apple Park, where you'll be able to witness where all the magic happens. So let's get started. What appears to be a massive spaceship parked on the beautiful flats of Cupertino, California, is actually the headquarters of tech giant Apple. The massive facility appropriately dubbed Apple Park is stretched across 176 acres of land and is one of the most gorgeous tech headquarters available. This futuristic structure has been in the works for a long time, with Steve Jobs originally presenting the concept back in 2006. The planning, proposal, permission application, and construction phases took eight years, but construction began in 2014. By 2017, the large Apple crew had begun to arrive. Now the huge ring-shaped building is a symbol of the Apple brand itself and is a testament to the company's dedication to a sustainability, effortless design, and futuristic technology. Initially, it was believed that the project would cost Apple around half a billion dollars, but the land itself was worth around $160 million, and by 2011, the cost had run up to $3 billion. Finally, when everything was done and dusted, the bill stood at $5 billion. This amount is larger than many small countries' budgets, but Apple could afford this. Today, the company is worth $2 trillion. The headquarters is divided into multiple buildings, but 80% of the building is still considered to be green space. The designers put in a lot of effort to make the part of nature. They planted over 9,000 drought-resistant trees, including cherry, apricot, and apple. And just for that purpose, Apple advocates a healthy lifestyle for its employees, and for that purpose, there are multiple running and walking tracks in the headquarters itself. Moreover, Bicycles are available for use to commute between different buildings of the HQ. The campus also includes a gym, basketball court, wellness center, and a two-story yoga studio where the employees can stretch out and relax their muscles. Apple believes in the benefits of a healthy workforce and thus takes immense care of its employees. Now, let's talk about the ring. The area which is only open for Apple employees, tourists, and visitors are not allowed inside the building premises. The ring is mostly made up of highly strengthened clear glass, making it look absolutely stunning in the sunlight. The Ring is a gargantuan four-story office building, and it can house over 12,000 employees. The Ring is so large in diameter that it takes seven and a half minutes to reach the other side of the circle. The design of the Ring makes it a surprisingly bright place to be, which energizes the workforce and keeps up their mood so they are able to achieve their goals. And by extension, the goals of Apple are achieved. The office space is designed as pods with glass walls which achieves a dual purpose of both allowing the clients to concentrate when they work and make socializing during their breaks easier. One of the most impressive features of the building is Apple Park, especially the ring, in which the whole complex is earthquake-proof. But how does Apple manage to keep a mostly glass building secure from earthquakes? The building rests on 692 massive stainless steel saucers, two floors on the ground. When the ground shakes, the building on the saucers will move around four feet in either direction. This is how Apple manages to keep the structure earthquake-proof. This is a very impressive strategy to counter earthquakes, but should we be surprised? Apple doesn't make anything without years of planning and research. As for the whole of Apple Park, it was made after nearly four years of research and planning. The late Steve Jobs also advised this strategy as he wanted the new Apple headquarters to be safe from every environmental disaster. Steve Jobs was greatly influenced by Japanese architecture especially the ways in which buildings in Japan were built to withstand earthquakes. Have you guys ever thought about where employees park their cars? Well, beneath the massive circular four-story structure, there is a massive two-story parking area and a complete road network that is completely hidden from sight. Even the parking area is exclusively designed for the convenience of employees. The parking lot is finished with reflective white tile, dome ceilings, and traffic lights seamlessly integrated into the street signs. Surrounded by the ring, there is also a beautiful artificial pond, just added for the scenery. Apple believes that all employees should dine together. Therefore, instead of building separate small restaurants, Apple made one huge restaurant for the employees. This huge restaurant is named Cafe Max, and it features a four-story glass sliding door, one of the world's largest glass doors. The restaurant is built on an area of 58,000 square feet, making it massive. 
They even have their own patented pizza boxes to stop the pizza from getting soggy. Apple really cares a lot about its employees, and no wonder they are the best smartphone company in the world. Other than the Cafe Max, there are seven cafes on site, as well as a 100,000 square foot fitness center. The catering team has the ability to serve around 15,000 people, so there will always be room to increase employees if the company ever wanted to do so. The Apple Auditorium, formerly known as the Steve Jobs Theater, has a seating capacity of 1,000 people. The glass wall building mirrors the ring in its shape and has a beautiful carbon fiber roof. The auditorium also includes a 42-foot high glass elevator that takes people down to the main theater. The elevator is supposed to be the largest freestanding glass elevator in the world. That's all for today. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, press the like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, press the subscribe button. And while you're at it, press the bell icon so that whenever we post a video, you get notified right away. Until then, have a nice day. Goodbye.